Sup, y'all, bring you guys another video. So, as we all know, Saul Canelo Alvarez ended up losing to Dimitri Bivol. Bivol ended up remaining the WBA light heavyweight champion, successfully defending his uh, belt, winning the fight by unanimous decision, and rightfully so. Dimitri Bivol definitely clearly won this fight. There's no way, no way you could have had Canelo winning this fight. And actually, I haven't seen a single comment, not a single comment, who had Canelo winning this fight, which is insane. Because there's, there's a lot of diehard Canelo fans, man. There, there are. And uh, it looks like most, at least the reactions I've seen, everyone of, of the reactions I've seen has accepted that Canelo uh, lost his fight, that Dimitri Rival was just the better fighter between the two. So... Anyway, as we all know, Canelo, if he would have won this fight, he would have definitely fought Triple G again in a rematch. Oh, not in a rematch, in a third fight this September. But uh, now that's in question because Canelo lost this fight with Bivol. So uh, you're probably wondering, how is Gennady Golovkin reacting to this? So on social media, if you follow Gennady Golovkin, um, he recently tweeted this out after the fight. And um, he just said, congratulations. He said, and I quote, it reads, Congratulations on your win, Bivol. That was solid. Keep it up. And he also said it, I guess, in uh, this language. Uh, I'm not sure what language that is. But if you translate it, it's, uh, I guess it's like the Russian language. And it reads, uh, Congratulations on your win, Bivol. Everything is fine. Keep it up. So it's basically almost the same thing. Um, and yeah, it's, uh, you know, it really was a good win for, for Bivol. A very very good win. Um, Triple G has had the shared has shared the ring with Canelo not once but twice. The first fight I thought Triple G got robbed. I thought Triple G should have won that fight. Honestly, like going into this fight, I, I going into this Bivol fight, I never thought Canelo would have won. I mean, would have lost by decision. Like going into this, I for in order for Bivol to win it, it had to be by knockout. But it's possible to win by decision. Somebody brought up uh, Canelo's new promoter. If you guys don't know, he's now with Eddie Hearn. In the previous fights, when he had those controversial wins, he was with Oscar De La Hoya. Maybe it's the promoter, man. Maybe Oscar had something to do with it, you know? Maybe if he was under Oscar here, maybe Oscar would have, uh, you know, let, told those judges to, to give it a draw or something. I mean, honestly, that, that it's shit happens in the sport of boxing. There's a lot of shady shit going on behind the scenes. So... Um, you never know. I mean, look at Triple G, the first fight. I, I thought Triple G won, but that was not the case. It ended up being a draw. And the second fight, I, I ended up having it for Canelo. A lot of people still had it for Triple G. And yeah, it was a close fight. Could have gone either way, in my opinion. Uh, but uh, I ended up having it for Canelo, the second fight. That's why I think a third fight would have been great uh, right away uh, years ago. But now, you know, time has passed. Canelo has gotten bigger and stronger and more experienced. Um, a third fight would just be Canelo would be the favorite in third fight, which I honestly think Canelo should do this September. He should just go right ahead, go right ahead, and uh, fight Triple G this September instead of fighting Bivol again. Because I think we can all agree that there's no way Canelo is beating Bivol, man. Bivol is just too big, too skilled, um, too good for for Canelo at 175 pounds. There's a reason why we have weight divisions. Canelo isn't a full fledged 175 pounder. He can make 168 comfortably. Uh, heck, I think he can still make 160. He just refuses to. Um, but you know, I think 175 is, is is past his limit. I think 168. He can solidify himself as the greatest 168 pounder of all time, and that can help his status of being you know a goat by com completely obliterating the the division or um, the competition in or around that that uh, weight division. So, anyway, we'll see. We'll see. Um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.